<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to an indie horror game, or at least I'm thinking it's indie, I mean, it's low budget and all that to my knowledge. It is called Astray. We are just starting now. I... here we go. Yes. I started just a little bit to make sure the camera was in a good position. Several weeks have passed since anyone has heard from my uncle. He spends far too long holed up in that strange museum of his... Tonight, I'll visit the museum to check on him. The family is getting worried. How thoughtful. But yeah, so... Brand new, haven't experienced anything other than this cutscene. I'm running from something. And like a wimp, I trip and I bruise my knee and I pass out. Because everyone in horror games gets knocked out by very simple things. The frame rate is at a good solid 60 frames, and everything is on ultra. So, looks like that's all cut off. We have an electric fence here. So, if we turn it off, we should be able to crawl through there. I don't want to try that without it, it, you know, it being turned off. Can't say I like the blur, but hopefully it'll add to the surrealism. All right, let's just go to the gate, I guess. No. Okay, let's go to the side of the house. Uh, yeah, there's a... You know, the gate's all locked and shit, but you just can go around, you know. This is the fucking open area here. You can just walk right on through. Who needs security when you just have an open fucking hole leading to your house? And boxes, you could probably, you know, jump up on top and jump over the fence. Huh! <laughs> And also, standing on the fence like this. <laughs> Alright. Apparently there's also a creepy, creepy basement down here. So let's go down into the creepy basement. It controls, apparently, like Penumbra. Maybe not as solid, like some clipping, but I can forgive that. I mean, it still looks decent. The floor is also electrified. And I have to get over there. So let's stack some boxes! This is very horrifying. Do not forget about that. It's very spooky. Electrified water is a spooky thing. Oh god! And I am dead! And I revived. I have become reborn. For oh, I am Jesus. Now oh, I need more boxes. Oh god, that's a big jump. Okay. So, with the left click, you grab it. Right click, yeah. You, uh, you throw. Let's turn off the power! Because I like being in complete darkness. And, uh, you know, gotta start the horror somehow. It's a good thing this, uh, nighttime and fogginess is really bright. Anyways, I will shut up until commentary is necessary so people don't have to hear me yakking. Allow people to get immersed into the horror experience. I will add, though, the one thing I do hate, that's a quick crouch, is when a YouTuber plays horror games and they talk non-stop. Not because they want to be entertaining or for comedy, but usually I see it's a sign to alleviate their sense of horror. They're distracting themselves more so than they are talking to entertain people. So I don't want to get that feeling to others that I'm only talking to because I'm so scared I need to distract myself. Because it's very common in YouTubers I see. You just see them constantly try to make light of the situation or to joke about things. Depending on how easily scared a person is, usually they only do it because it helps with your ego, helps with your psyche. But, I mean... I'm not too easy to be spooked beyond, you know, cardboard pop-ups. So, I don't need to talk. I just somewhat worry, personally, if it'll get boring if I don't. But I will still shut up anyways. It does feel a little laggy, though. Even though it says 60 frames. Blood? Blood? 
the grass isn't long enough for th things to be creeping up in it. Seriously. Guess into the basement again. Just gotta make sure I don't miss out on anything. There's absolutely no ambient music. A little concerning. Ugh. I just gonna scratch myself. Loading menu. Yeah, once again. Ooh, boy! Great. Ooh. A slow flashlight movement. Ooh, I'm gonna enjoy this. 17th of November, 1908. I've got that item you're looking for. I'm going to ask for ask for twice my usual fee for this one. It wasn't easy to, to obtain. I know how much you wanted it. I'll be by the docks at the usual time. You know the spot. Such fucking vagueness! Why is my... Did I hit something? My character's moving forward on his fucking own. I'm not... Stop. Oh my god. Okay, what's going on here? Stop moving forward. Stop. Did, did I hit a button I shouldn't have? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Seriously, I don't think there's a perma move button like there is in Skyrim. What the fuck is that shit? The game broke already just by reading a fucking letter. Fucking... Oh! I fixed it. Okay, do not move forward and read things at the same time. I cancelled it out by moving backwards and reading the fucking letter. Store is electronically controlled and will not open without power. Also, I have flashlight batteries. It's running low. I don't know if it recharges. Because I'm in pitch fucking darkness. I need more batteries, so let's rush this a tiny bit. Here we go. Alright, there are batteries scattered everywhere. There's no recharge. Gotta see if there's anything in here. Nope. It's just batteries. Which is a good thing. A door that will not open. Ah, it's so bright. I don't think it would be bright for you guys. I'm gonna keep my flashlight on. Boop. Well then, this is super fucking bright. Welcome to the Walden Museum of the Supernatural. You are now entering the coast. Where the fuck are like those intercoms? Oh. We're closed! Can't you tell? It's fucking nighttime. This museum's fucking closed. Dear sir, I, Professor Rupert Walker, cordially invite you to our family. To your family. Wait, to invite you? Oh, and your family, sorry. To attend a private showing at my museum of the supernatural on 24th of November. The evening will begin at 8 p.m. with refreshments in the main hall. Should you choose to attend, your family will be among the first to experience the museum's many fascinating exhibits. Though some are still undergoing work at this time. Please, RSVP by no later than 15th November. I hope you're able to accept my invitation, and I hope, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Yours faithfully, Professor Walker. Mm. Okay. Can't open cupboards. I can move the chairs. Bam! That was a good throw. Oh well. So I got, uh... Egyptian stuff here. Okay, it's a loading screen. I'm going to go back, because I don't like not exploring the whole room. Staff only. I'm going to break the rules. I'm a fucking rebel. Three keys, huh? Atlantis! Demonology. Okay, then. Staff only. I'm a rebel. I'm a staff. I'm going to go here. And this is a monster that hates people. Oh, jeez. Awkwardly dark room. Oh, jeez. This is too long. Pause if you want to read this. I'm not reading it. Whoa. Frame rate almost 
feels like it's dropped. Why does it say the game is 60 frames? It really doesn't feel like 60 frames. Like it says 62, but it's... Yeah, 61, 62, but that looked leggy to my mind. I'm going to Egypt first. I double open that door. Nothing like a little scarab. And... This is a horror game mixed with puzzle elements. So I hopefully am good at puzzles. I usually am, but who knows? Um... I can't grab anything, so... I don't think there's anything for me to do in this room except browse the delicate assets. Hold shift to sp sprinting makes more noise. Am I going to be attracting enemies? Is there a monster I should be aware about that you're not telling me? It's finally my hands. Bella wrote last week to inform me that she had required the crystal fragment I was after. Of course. Knowing how much I wanted it, she saw fit to double her fee, certain that I'd pay any amount to get my hands on the artifact. Yep. This shard is unlike anything I've ever seen. It looks to have been cleanly cut from a much larger structure, but the material looks much too hard. Surely such a precise such a precise incision would be impossible. Probably a water jet stream. It's beautiful, truly magnificent. Its dull glow is soothing, hypnotic even. I can proudly put it on display in time for my pre-opening. Let me guess, it's like dead space. It's gonna like zombify people just by it being around you. That is my first guess. I'm gonna climb these fucking boxes. Oh, looks like there's a tunnel in there too. But first, I want to see if there's anything up here. Nope, because there's invisible wall. All right, let's go underneath things. A breaker. Okay then. Turn off the power or something. Timing. I'm gonna assume it's for the uh, up there or the pyramid. Yep. Yeah. A little bit obvious, but okay. Can I save this right here? I can't save. Okay. Probably just the Jesus respawn ability. That sort of breaks immersion, though, in my experience. Because um, then there's no fear of death. So if there are creatures in this game, then what's the fear? You know, you're just going to respawn back up. The tombs of many pharaohs were protected against grave robbers. The resting place of King Teos was hidden behind the secret door in this tomb, which is said to have been guarded by curses and other supernatural foes. Forces. The name of the pharaoh himself was used to seal the tomb. I need more batteries. There's enough fucking mortars here. Well. Boop. Such a secret panel, man. Very hard to notice. Hmm. I think this has to be related to something. Maybe it informs me which is the correct one by being more yellow than the others. Mm, oh, maybe. Mm, or maybe it's just reflections. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the image somewhere else. Just, uh, just a tome. Just, just a tome. So where do I get those symbols from, huh? Not here. I think I missed it from somewhere. The only place I think I missed it was um, the place I saw up above. Right up here. Probably need a name. Alright, so let's move this box over here. Hoppity hop, hop. I need another box. You 
basically, I think, telling me that's how you're supposed to stack the goddamn boxes just to get up here. More than likely. Alright, so... I'm gonna presume it's Teos, since that's four letters of the person's name. So... T is... I'm just gonna write it down. Fuck it. My wrist hit the jump button. T... Stick... I'm gonna just call them candy canes. And barbecue tongs. And... Candy cane. Or doorway. Alright, I got the secret code. It has nothing to do with owls or snakes or lions, just... Uh, sunrise. Leaves or wheat, or double candy cane, and all that other jazz. So, this should be it. I'll solve the puzzle, and possibly call it an episode. Quite possibly. I think it's now 13 minutes in. I still don't know if the game auto saves or not. I don't want to fuck it around. So, this should be either doorway, or. Yep, there it is. So, we need double candy cane on these leaves, so that's perfect. And barbecue tongs. And doorway. Ta da! Yay! Puzzles, I'm so smart! A key! Wow, wait, that was it. I already got the key for the triple security door room. Watch me run into a fucking monster right here. Just instant kills me. So far, no suspense. I mean, I, I called this a horror game. Wait, just have. Just gonna close this door. I don't like doors open of where I've already been before. Alrighty then. Oh, and it flips. Wow. All right. Hmm. Well, this is all the time I have for this episode. It's been 18 minutes in. I don't think I need to skip anything. So. This is all I have time for this. If you enjoy it, I'm going to continue it anyways. I'm going to beat it. I heard it's a short game, so I hope everyone enjoys it as I play through it. As soon as I finish it, back to Darkwood or this mixed with Darkwood. But until next time...